The only difference between our background and our hero costumes for our goblins are pretty much as the hero lightweight chainmail, which was conceptually thought and designed and produced for this particular film. It's a chainmail that's one fifth the weight of steel, so the character is able to wear the costume for a long period of time without feeling any fatigue from any exhaustion or weight. Well, this is chainmail. Lots of it. This is a Moria Orc suit that I'm working on at the moment. There's 13,000 rings in one of these suits when it's finished, and it takes approximately three days to make up one of these suits. Some of the other suits are considerably more because the mail is a lot finer. Here I am putting together plastic rings and I love it. Absolutely mad as a meat axe, but I love it. And for me, it's been about five months of non-stop. Just the calluses on the ends of the fingers. However, we'll get there. Welcome to the bubble. Welcome to the bubble. This has been our home for what, last year? Two years. No, we only had the bubble for about a year. And the hostage. Oh, and the hostage, yes. We can't forget the hostage. He still hasn't coughed up his secrets. This is five million rings that we've put together. Just 10 kilometers worth of chain mail if every ring was stood on its edge. The only reason we know this is because the amount of materials that we've ordered through the supplier comes to 10 kilometers worth. There's twice as much chain mail as ever was originally asked for. And you, you can imagine how we felt when all of a sudden all these stunties are wearing chainmail at Elms Deep and giving it absolute death. And sort of standing there thinking, well, I hope it all holds together because it was never originally planned to do that. And so far it has.